has it, 810R4 is a silent ratcheting screwdriver made for ninjas. Let's take a look at my favorite screwdriver. So it comes in a pretty simple looking box and what comes inside is the screwdriver and the little bit driver here. They show you what um, bits you get on here and it slides open. You can tell this is a little, I've had this for a while. I've been using this for almost like a year now. So the package is a little bit open. We'll take a look at that bit driver in just a second. Um, right now, I just kind of want to talk to you about how on the packaging here, um, you see here it says 810R3 and then 810R4. So the number basically indicates which bits you're going to be uh, getting with the um, screwdriver. And uh, I'll show that on screen now. Um, other companies that make uh, a similar screwdriver to this um, include Imbis, uh, Craft Grip, uh, Ghidor, uh, and uh, another I'll talk about later. All right, so to access the bit storage, we have this press and pull button. So you press it in and pull out and we see we have a set of 12 bits that pop out in a pretty cool way. Makes it really easy to grab them out to put in there. We'll take a look at this bit driver in a second. Um, the handle is a hard plastic and there's a pretty nice rubber grip on the bit door storage area. Uh, makes it really nice for gripping. I wish right here had some grip, um, but because it has these flat ends on each side, it actually helps quite a bit with choking up on the screwdriver. Um, when the bit storage is closed, the handle like has no flex. Like I can't move this at all. Like it feels very sturdy and pretty robust. Um, but if we open up the bit storage, you can see that there's a lot of flex. A lot of flex so it's one of those things where you always want to make sure that it is closed if you're going to use it or you might be able to break it but when it's closed I don't feel like I'm going to break it at all it feels very sturdy um, and uh, I want to do a little size comparison here um, to some screwdrivers that I've used in the past here here is a, a regular acetate handle screwdriver you can see it's quite a bit bigger here um, you can see there and then another guy I've used a few times is the uh, Klein 7-in-1 uh, uh, flip socket set and as you can see it's a comparable size but it is still bigger and when we show you here you can see it is quite a bit bigger in fact the the biggest handle uh, screwdriver that I have is the work pro which is a screwdriver we know I don't like but it actually it's not showing very well on the camera right now but it is actually just a little bit bigger you can see here if you look at the handles and of course like always we have our banana four scale please subscribe let's take a look at how it holds bits so the basic driver inside um, has a ball detent. I don't know if you can see that there. And there's a magnet inside. The ball detent is made for these style connectors. If I have something with like a power groove in here, it can fit. There is a little bit of play, but it does stay in there because of that ball detent. So to use it, you simply pull up and insert and it gives a real good lock on everything. Um, let's take out a uh, bit. For example, here's uh, number two. And you can see here, it fits really well. Um, and the nice thing about it is that the magnetism does stand up. You know, it does work pretty well here. Um, if we have uh, a screwdriver here, it does hold the screw 
on really well. Uh, now, there's the included uh, bit extender, which is actually very nice quality, but it is just a magnet. There's no ball detent there. And again, it's another really nice strong magnet that transfers to the screw actually much better than the magnet inside the main driver. And of course, that's not going anywhere. I don't use the included bit extender because it doesn't work well in an impact driver. So here I have an impact driver and I'll insert it in here and I can just pull it right back out. I'll get into what I actually use instead of this in just a second. But first, uh, let's take a look at the ratcheting mechanism. So um, we have uh, left, right and uh, neutral, so uh, locked. So right now it's in its lock position and you can tell there's just a little bit of jiggle, but nothing crazy actually. It's one of the best ones I've ever used in terms of um, play. The Ninja ratcheting mechanism is virtually silent. Um, it uses a cam and ball bearing ratcheting mechanism instead of like regular teeth like a regular ratchet. So here's a regular ratchet here. Really nice pleasing ratcheting sound and for comparison virtually silent okay and this actual mechanism in here is patented by a Canadian company called Roll Gear. Sometimes it can be really easy when switching to go to the other direction you know, like nothing's perfect, unfortunately. And actually, it's really nice. There's virtually no back drag. So, so I've modded some of my favorite accessories that I've shown you in previous videos here. So here is the Klein 701 flip grip. And you can see I've added very small little uh, detents to this so that I can use it with this and it fits in there. So I also have the modified Dewalt nut setter part that I use if I need to drive these in a smaller form factor. Now because I modded these guys this way, they no longer have that ball detent so if I need to use any of these with my impact driver, I end up using uh, this Makita adapter that I told you about in uh, previous videos. It's the Makita uh, MBH uh, quarter inch bit holder. And this bolt bit holder has another really strong magnet. It even has a little clip inside of there, a retaining clip. So it actually really keeps these bits in there real well. And you know, just for reference here, the magnet is really strong on this guy. So these are pretty cheap hex bits. I like carrying these guys. Kind of do something where I put these together like this. And then this, along with that right there, fits in my pocket. It's pretty flat lay. And that way I don't have to carry these in any tool package or anything like that. Um, and it allows me to have them in my pocket without it bothering me or without um, fear of losing these guys. But that's just a... So one other thing here. I don't love the bit selection here. There's some bits that I really don't use. So I've kind of customized this here to get rid of the bits that I most likely will never use. And instead, I've tried to give myself a good selection of three sizes of each of the standard bits that are in my area. This is a near perfect screwdriver for me. Um, the imperfections I've already discussed, um, and some of the other imperfections that the bits that are included with it, I'm not gonna use all of these. So without imperfection, you and I wouldn't exist. Uh, nothing's perfect. So let's embrace the cracks, flaws, failures, and stumbles. And let's focus on the experience 
of life and not worry about perfection. Enjoy life as it is. Thanks for watching.